So how do you create custom logos and add it to Zeppelin? Well, I'm gonna show you how to do so. All you need to do is FTP into your iDevice. In this case, my iPhone 4S is here. I'm gonna open that up. And then in the root directory, go to library. So you should see the root directory there. Just open up library. And then from library, you should see Zeppelin. Open up Zeppelin and here are all the different logo packs right here. It's super simple. All you do is drag in a logo pack to this directory and then you're good to go. You can add your custom logo that way. Now to create a custom logo, what I recommend that you do is just open up one of the pre-existing logos, maybe copy it to your desktop, and then just follow the template basically. You, you can kind of tell exactly what you need, what icons you need, how many icons you need you need the 2x mode icons and the normal mode icons and you can see them here and that's all I did to create these IDB logos it's super simple super easy once you're finished creating them just drag them over to the Zeppelin folder under root slash library and you're good to go now this allows me to reiterate a point that we made earlier in another video about finding out where specific things were installed for your packages all you do is go under install package go to file system content and then you can see exactly the layout and where everything is that was how i was able to find out exactly where these logo packs were located right there in the file system so you can see all the different logo packs you can see which logos are there the 2x mode logos the normal logos the silver the etch the black etc now, if you want to download the custom IDB Zeppelin logo, then check the description and check the post on iDownload blog for more details. You can download that, drag it to your Zeppelin folder, and you're good to go. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownload blog.